okay, okay. I know you're not here for me. Don't. This isn't a fool. I know why you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, Vanessa Williams is on the show today. My, guy, my guys in the front row look like they're in Oprah's favorite things audience. <laughs> oh, I love Vanessa. I have, this is, I'm so excited for today's show. I have loved her. We're going to play a little song. This is when I fell in love with Vanessa. At my, at my prom, my, my senior prom with a girl, insert your own joke there. And um, her name was Chris, and we danced to this song. Producer Carl. Little dreaming, girl. That's right. Oh, Vanessa. Thank you. The audience is clapping, except those ladies right there. That's right, yeah. Clap, ladies, clap. Anyway, Vanessa's on the show. We're very excited. She's coming out a little bit later. We have a surprise for her. Uh, now, speaking of big-time celebrities, so I was in L.A. over the weekend uh, interviewing uh, Kevin Hart and uh, Ed Helms and uh, Common was there. And I was also there for Wonder Woman, which we'll get to in just a second. But yeah, yeah. Well, well, don't get too excited. You'll see why. But uh, I have a consumer tip, because I know you tune to the show for consumer tips. Avoid LAX like a monkey showing its teeth to you. <laughs> they, I was there, and I'm going to try to cut the story down, because I don't want to take any time from Vanessa. But anyway, I was there, and you know, uh, I don't like to fly. Uh, Shelby needs her juice when she flies. So I had two vodka sodas. I, I, I pet a therapy pony, and then I got on, I, I went to the gate. And I'm sitting at the gate, and you know, uh, they, the Delta switched terminals. So there's Harry Carey right there. And then at first they said that our flight was gonna be 20 minutes late. And then it went to 30 minutes late. And we weren't the only ones in our gate, because the Delta agents got so sick of people, and there was such a backlog. This woman got on in the intercom. She goes, um, attention people on Houston flight 1447. Don't even line up because we haven't even thought about lining you up yet. She goes, she goes, she goes your plane is not here. So lining up would be futile at this moment. I was dying. So anyway, they're down to one departure runway at LAX. And if that wasn't bad enough, guess what? Then I turn around, my big boss is behind me. <laughs> my big kahuna boss from 20th Century Fox, I look like I just schlubbed out of an Annie orphan sequence. <laughs> I'm half in the bag from my sodas. And I'm like, oh, hello, big boss. And he sat behind me the whole trip. Speaking of, speaking of refreshing beverages, grab one. It's time for the hot dish, everybody. Here we go. Now, like I said, uh, uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is missing. That's right. I traveled to Los Angeles this weekend, interviewed, like I said, a handful of stars. You'll be seeing them in the up next weeks, including Wonder Woman herself, Gal Gadot. Now, here she is right here, lovely. Uh, wait until you hear what happens. So we get there. Uh, we saw the movie Friday night, which I'll get to in just a second. And then Saturday was the interviews. So they put us in this little truckster. They take us to the center to interview her. And we walk in, and this woman goes, she goes, with a clipboard. And always be afraid of someone with a clipboard, <laughs> unless it's Julie on the love boat. So she comes up. She goes, she goes, hi. Um, so uh, there's no Wonder Woman here? And I was like, oh my goodness. And like this other reporter, she turned into a Warner Brothers cartoon character. It's like. <laughs> And I said, oh, no. And it's, I feel awful. I feel bad for our friends from Warner Brothers because, listen to this, Gal wasn't feeling well. Uh, she posted a video on Instagram, because I, I don't want to tell all of her business, but she posted that she wasn't feeling well, and she wasn't. She tried to push through it, and she just couldn't. She did, like, maybe five interviews, and bless her heart, she had to go home. Chris Pine wasn't really feeling well, and he pushed through. They were so great and so gracious. Now, I did, and we'll have those interviews. 
We'll have the Wonder Woman interviews without Wonder Woman in a little bit. But anyway, <laughs> um, but I did get to, I did get to see the, the movie. Now, Warner Brothers, I can't say anything until like, and for two weeks. <laughs> so I won't say anything. I'll just smile. I won't say anything, but I'll just tell you, you should go see this movie. Yeah, that's right. I won't say anything, but their chemistry is really good. Yeah. Okay, that's all. That's all I'm going to say. That's all. I don't want them to get mad at me. They should like it because it's really But you'll see. We'll review it when we can, and we'll bring those interviews. Okay, next in the dish. There are two things everyone's talking about this morning. Uh, uh, first is Twin Peaks, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Woman in the front row is nodding her head. Yeah, I was up till two watching that, and then I was, had horrible nightmares that a little man was going to speak backwards by my bed. Uh, and the other is the Billboard Music Awards. There were a lot of fresh faces at the show last night. Here are some, we, we found some uh, favorites from the red carpet. I don't even know who that is. Is that Miley? That's Miley, yeah. Lord was there, Miley. Bruno Mars, or is it? Now, it took a, a couple. <laughs> Ladies, present to you, sounds like she did Selena. saying, you know that big boss that was sitting with me on the plane, he's watching today. I would like that chandelier for the set, please. <laughs> and I want those sleeves. <laughs> okay, all kidding aside, that is of course the greatest singer in the world, Celine Dion. She sang her signature hit, My Heart Will Go On, 20 years. Now let me just say, you know, we hear all the time like Mariah, oh Mariah can't hit the notes anymore, and this Madonna can't hit the notes anymore. Uh, Celine can hit all the notes still. Now, Celine wasn't, Celine wasn't the only diva in the house last night. <laughs> Grab your pasties, y'all. Uh, look at this. That is 71. She won. Cher turned back time and won the Billboard Awards version of a Lifetime Achievement Award, and she deserved it. You can think whatever you want about Cher, but she's one of the few artists in the world that's had a number one single in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and the new millennium. Drop the mic. Okay, next. Next in the dish, I spilled my water. Uh, it's, one of the, it's one of the dark spots in the much beloved Sex and the City franchise. I'm talking about the second movie. Now, <laughs> now Sarah Jessica Parker, or SJP as we call her, is sharing her true feelings about the sequel. She was part, uh, SJP was part of the Vulture Festival this weekend in New York and talked about her iconic role as Carrie Bradshaw. She admitted to being hesitant taking the role in the first place, but ended up absolutely loving it. Yeah, of course it did. Uh, SJ was also asked about Sex in the City Part 2. The 2010 movie saw the girls leave New York, basically, and go to Abu Dhabi. She admitted to seeing where the movie, quote, fell short. Uh, yeah. And even though critics and fans didn't like it, Sarah did remind everybody that the movie made $288 million worldwide. And, you know... For the 800th time in her life, she was asked about a third movie. She played coy, but you know what's going to happen. They need to, whatever you do, do a third, wrap it up, bring them back to New York, and leave it in New York, by the way. Leave it in New York. So, yeah. Audience, you agree? You agree? Okay, good. Okay. I don't like to beg, but I really hope that you don't turn the dial, because look 
at what's next. Coming up next. Oh, I have loved her for years, and I can't Damn, believe she's good. finally here. Are you? I'm feeling the like colors of the wind the because library. the one and only Vanessa Williams tip. is live in our studio. Welcome. We're talking about her new show, Daytime Divas. I don't care what the hell you just might say. Her amazing clothing line. I know y'all have some pieces. And of course, her legendary roles. Not posh, don't hurt her. An ugly Betty. There you go. That's and Desperate Housewives. Hi, Vanessa. Plus, we may have a surprise or two. So don't you go anywhere. Understaffed. And overworked. Hong Kong drive through Chaos. Feel, feel, feel. Fox 9 investigates the mistakes behind the counter. For every complaint that we get, there are many more errors that occur that are never reported to us. They don't want the general public to know of a problem. Tonight at 9. I'll, I'll walk from here, Dad. Are you embarrassing me? Oh, no, it's not you. Are you sure? Yes. Uh-oh, better get makeup. Here marks 25 years since Vanessa Williams topped the music charts which saved the best from la for last, from singing to acting to fashion. She's been entertaining us for years. She is, and I'm not, you know this, she's one of my favorites. I've been wanting to get her on this show, the radio show for many years. I'm so excited that she's here on our first day of our national show. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Vanessa Williams, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Vanessa Hello, Williams. Hello, Jason. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Very good, thank you. You are busy. What is it? You, you, we were looking at that video. When you see that video, what do you think of? Oh, Lord. I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, my God, I was so skinny, eh? Uh, oh, please. You are still. No, come on. No, but yes. that was after... Yes. That was after two kids. Now I'm up to four. So uh, that was... Uh, <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, I immediately think of where I was at that time of my life. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that it's nearly 25 years later and I still sing that song and people still cry and and sing along I mean I you know I just did a, a jazz festival in St. Lucia yeah and everyone's just you know connecting and it's good music yes. you know, really. is it I would imagine that and maybe if I would guess that and maybe colors of the wind colors two of that the wind, you always are asked to sweetest sing. Days, sweetest day love is yeah 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 I don't know if you saw the beginning of the show but I danced a prom to dreaming dreaming right. yeah Love that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also I'm one of those, the, the, the feedback that I do get is I still sound like I re the records, which is true, because you were talking about, yeah. Yes. I mean, you gotta, you have to take care of your body and your voice. It's an instrument. Yeah. And you have to sing properly. And didn't Celine do a good job? She did a fantastic job. She sounds exactly job. the same. She does, yeah. 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 We have a little surprise for you coming up a little bit later, but uh, uh -huh. we're, yeah. Do you know them? They don't, they don't know. know. Okay. It's a good surprise. <laughs> okay. It's a good surprise. Let's talk about your career because we're gonna we're gonna get to your new show. But uh, I have to say, uh, Desperate Housewives. Yeah. One of my favorite roles of yours. Renee Perry. Renee, uh, Renee Perry. Uh, <laughs> what was it like? Because you walked in. By the time you were there, it was an established show. Yeah. Was is that? I mean, but you were. I mean, you're Vanessa Williams. Yeah. But still, was it daunting walking on to a into a set like that? Yeah, I just come off from Ugly Betty doing four years of Ugly Betty, and then I took a, a brief, uh, yeah. uh, you know, a brief um, segment of time. I did a Sanham and Sanham on Broadway, and Mark Cherry came to our show, and um, after he said he wanted to meet, and then he said, would you be interested in, in joining our show? And I had literally just come out of the Betty space, did Broadway, and hadn't even thought about going back to television. And uh, but it was such a great. He's phenomenal. Yeah, loves theater and knew that I could bring the funny, and that was that was the fun part about it. Hey there. Well, I'm and and party. different from Wilhelmina, where mm -hmm. and Mark is so good at writing women, yes. don't you think? He's Absolutely. so good at writing women. Absolutely, yeah. And then now we're gonna get an applause here. We, uh, ugly Betty, you yeah. mentioned. I mean, uh, yeah. favorite role, probably one of your maybe oh, experiences. For sure. Yeah. I mean, Willamina Slater, I mean, talking about one-liners and good writing. 
Wilhelmina uh, had yeah, it. I know. I yeah. know. And I had a wonderful ensemble that I got a chance so to play with every every day for hard. four years. And I mean, Michael Yuri, who was my Mark, oh. does not get any better than that. No. And America is a superstar. America Ferrara yeah. did a, and everybody had And that wardrobe. The wardrobe. The wardrobe. Your hair, the wardrobe. Miss Pat Field, man. I mean, she knows how to bring it. I was do, I was talking to some people uh, doing the Wonder Woman movie, and they said the costumes. You, when you put it on, your it, whole stance, was yeah, that the same with Wilhelmina, it, it, you're all? Yeah, it informs the character. You know, it's one thing in your mind where you can come up with kind of an idea of what you want to do, but when you get dressed and you've got all your props, you kind of morph into that character. Yeah. Now let's talk about uh, Daytime Divas yes, on VH1. Yes. Star Jones, right. This is her, yeah. her so baby. So it premieres uh, June 5th, so, uh, which is in a couple weeks. And... Uh, Star Jones, so basically Star had uh, open heart surgery, which she's very candid about, yeah. and her doctor said, we want you to do something every day to, to exercise your mind. So she started writing every day. And by the end of her recovery, she had written a book, named it Satan Sisters, and Satan Sisters was picked up by VH1 and was kind of uh, held for about five years, and Star called me last year and said, listen, I got a 10 episode deal, you're my number one choice, please read the material and see what you think. And uh, Maxine Robinson is the head of a daytime talk show. Mm -hmm. um, and he liked the view at all, is not it? At not at all. Not at all. It's not the view, no. you know. It's not the view at all. So you're, you're so I'm the, the moderator. Oh uh, Yes, I'm the Barbara Walters slash. Uh, if it was about the view. Exactly. That's if right. it were, I would be the producer with an yeah. illustrious career. Yes. And then trouble, drama ensues with the ladies. Yes, both on and off screen. Is yes. it fun? Because I, I, Wilhelmina, this, is it fun to play witchy with a B? <laughs> witchy with a B. <laughs> oh, that's a good. Uh, we may be Fox, but it's still daytime. <laughs> we gotta, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, you could say it's typecasting just because, you know, it's so easy, like, oh, you played that, she'd be perfect yeah. for that. But uh, it's a new kind of, um, you know, it's a new environment. And. Uh, I did steal two of our writers from Ugly Betty because I wanted to make sure that somebody knew did how to you? write for me. Yeah, yeah. Look at uh, you, yeah, John and Tracy Paul, Exactly. <laughs> Said you have to come on. I know it's cable, but come on. So. But all joking aside, because they know your rhythm, they yes. know how to write. They for know you. what I can do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can do it very well. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Your surprise is next. Don't worry. Uh oh. It has something to do with Ugly Betty. I'll okay. tell you that. Something to do with Ugly. By the way, Daytime <laughs> Divas premieres. Uh, Today, on our national day, M Monday, June 5th. More with Vanessa Williams, including a look at her fashion line when we come back. Stay with us, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So. Who are you? It's time. I told you the truth. All new Gotham. Tonight at 7 on Fox 9. She jumped and launched herself right out of my arms. She landed on the ground. I heard her cry. I knew it was bad. It was a Sunday afternoon. All of the vet clinics around my area were closed. We were referred to AERC, and we were so happy when we got Hi, Vanessa. It's Jake Thompson. I just wanted to send you a quick hello from sunny LA. I heard that you're on the show through my sister, and I just wanted to say that I'm really looking forward to Daytime Divas. It reminds me so much of Wilhelmina Slater, and um, you know, I've now been working in TV for so long, and I'll never forget how special the cast and crew was of Ugly Betty, and how amazing you were to me when I got my career started. So I just wanted to say that I can't wait to watch, and I hope you have such an amazing time in Minneapolis. All my love. Explain. I do other than this. I do a morning uh, radio talk show. My co-host uh, Alexis, that's her brother oh, Jake, gotcha. who worked with on Ugly yes, Betty. Yeah. Watch your dogs, your days, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> He's a wonderful guy. And we're gonna do a quick game, but I gotta tell you this: uh, Jake and James Ditton, who's another friend yeah. of ours who lives down the road. Oh wow! Okay. You are, and I've said this many times, so people know I'm just not BSing okay. for the show. Everybody that we've ever spoken to about you says that you are exactly what you want to be, that you're just as kind in person oh. as you are. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Jake, I guess, thanks. Yeah, Jake <laughs> bragged all uh. the time about how unbelievably sweet you are. So, I, you know, I don't know whether it's having, like, uh, both parents as teachers and just being, like, I, I don't know.
it's there, there was no pretense growing up in our families. And yeah. so and my kids are the same way. It's like you treat people with respect. Yeah. And you listen to them and you have genuine conversations. Look That's that. all you need to do. Okay. We're gonna have a little fun. Uh oh. We're gonna play first thought, first impressions. Okay. I'm gonna say one of your co-stars, and you tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first up, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You call uh, him an eraser. Very nice. Very nice. That's what he that's what he says all the time when he walks on a set. And he says, very nice. <laughs> he's he's truly a leader. Like when we, we shot a racer together back in 96. Uh, but when I knew that he was going to run for governor, yeah. I knew that he had what it took to, to actually win because he's a true leader. And uh, driven. And driven. And driven. Mm -hmm. Next, Will Smith. Fresh Prince. Uh, boy, God, you're, you're taking it all the way back. I know. I, first time I worked with him was uh, 90, 92. Uh, and he was in the middle of his uh, Fresh Prince, uh, you know, spectacular career. Uh, and after we finished our scenes, he commented on not only uh, how good it was, but that I was always acting. So I, you know, I have a theater background. So when you're on stage, you've got to act. Yeah. And when you're in television, basically, you're only it's, acting to hear. Yeah. So while he was doing his acting, I would be helping. I was supposed to be pregnant. I was helping him, uh, you know, <laughs> with, with the scene. And, and, and instead of just being like waiting for my close up and then acting. And he always commented on how I continued to act and help him out. I so. love it. One more, Samuel L. Jackson. Ooh, Shaft. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, that, yeah. Uh, I was pregnant with my fourth child, and I had to play a cop. And uh, I know Kate, my makeup artist, is, is remembering this well because uh, I had to do a lot of stunts as a cop. And, you know, nobody knew that I was pregnant, so I'm like falling into garbage bags and tumbling on the ground. And Kate was like, oh. But uh, so it was a precarious kind of situation. But he's, again, he's a pro. He's a pro. He's, he's a, a pro. pro. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just a few more minutes with Vanessa. When we come back, we're talking fashion. You're going to see her clothing line from our friends at Evine when we come back. Stay with us. Awarded the 2017 Edmunds Most Wanted Vehicle. This is the Acura MDX. Now for a limited time, lease the MDX for only $4.39 a month at Bloomington Acura, Berkeley Acura, and White Bear Acura. Details at TwinCitiesAcuraDealers.com. It's a new Dock 86 with bigger brands and better deals for less. A lot less. Plus now our new Dock 86 Deal of the Week at Dock86.com. You'll want to check out the new Dock 86 where you get a good deal more for a good deal less. A lot less. Must be fun for you. It is so much fun. Uh, I do everything in New York. I, I live about an hour outside New York, so I commute into the city. I've got my design team uh, waiting for me at a huge, uh, uh, big uh, like conference table. And then I just bring in sketches. They show me stuff. I've got fabric swatches all over the place, and then we get to work. That is uh, that what yeah. a fun process. It okay, is. We'll take that fabric. Yeah. We'll put it yeah. here. And it's all made in New York. So yeah. I get, so all the, the the companies that I work with are all local based. So it's all U.S. made, which is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But then the real joy for me is when I see it uh, on Evine with my team of, I have the same ladies that are my models, my mm -hmm. V-gals, and when I see it like head to toe, it's really exciting. I bet, because it's like your baby kind yes. of, yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at some. What are we looking at here, Vanessa? We'll play what? Evine. My, we'll my girl, Aaron Newberg over there. We'll oh, play, yeah, oh yeah, I love, I love Aaron. Aaron. Uh, so we've got a one shoulder, uh, and I love pattern. I say, women, don't be afraid of pattern. Most of my patterns are kind of ethnic and tribal, but a pattern is a great way to kind of camouflage what you want to camouflage. <laughs> all, the, all the fabrics kind of skim the body, so you don't have to worry about having it be too clingy at all. Yeah. And uh, it's very feminine. It all moves. It all kind of, it's kind of goddess looking. And yeah. that's what I think we are. All, we're all well, goddesses. Especially that first one. Yes. Yeah, the one shoulder is always, it, it's very kind of exotic but very wearable too. And they travel, I mean, I, I'm always on the road. They travel really well and don't be afraid of color. I mean, I do pretty much everything in black and white, navy, um, uh, and, and olive is kind of my, my neutral, but don't be afraid of a splash of color just to make you feel better yeah. and walk into the room and be noticed. Why not? Be exactly. noticed. Be noticed. I like that. 
Vanessa, talk to me. We're looking at it right now, the blue one. That That's a great cut. That's the, that's the newscaster look. I mean, any any of you, but really, and you, you look, you turn on the TV, and they always have a, a, a really strong TV blue. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it's great because it, it drapes, so it's kind of subtle, but it doesn't cling, so you, your cleavage isn't falling out. You're not, you know, it's a, uh, and. It and is a ratings month, though, Vanessa, so we you know. There are lower cut things in the line, yeah. yes. But that's one of those great pieces that you can do cocktail, you can wear it to church, you can, you know, it's just one of the great goddess dresses. Is that your jewelry too, or is that just, no? Oh. That, that'll, I thought you were doing come. jewelry too. I will, that'll come soon. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk to Yvonne. Yeah. 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 Attention, Yvonne. <laughs> exactly. Attention, Yvonne. Jewelry, please. <laughs> jewelry, please. Uh, exactly. We have like 30 seconds. What, what, are you, what are you doing now? I mean, you said you just did a concert. What, what's after? What are you doing now? Because you wrap Daytime Divas, right? It's, we wrap, so yeah. hopefully we'll go back for season two. You uh, will. Yes, you yes, will. yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, and I continue to sing and, uh, and create fashion. And I've got, you know, one child still at home. She'll be a senior next year in high school. I can't believe that it's... Oh, my goodness. Uh, so we're, you know, the next big thing is looking at colleges. And then, uh, you know, it's... it's still time. tough? Even with the last one still tough? Yeah, oh my God, well, it's, it'll be my last one. Yeah, so yeah, baby. it's even, yeah. 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 I, I always like to try to end on a compliment <laughs> and I'm being very sincere. You know, when people uh, launch a show, it's um, no one's ever heard of me and it's hard to get celebrities to do it. It's like, who's that? Who's, who's Jason? That? Who's that guy? <laughs> So the fact, the fact that you agreed to do this and on our first national show, I really mean this. Thank you so much. Aww. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. You're fantastic. You are fantastic. Thank you. Vanessa Williams, Aww. everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's wonderful. Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa. We'll be on Evine today. Evine today, so check her out at noon and three. Uh, noon, three, and eight. Oh, you're busy today. I know, I am. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa even stands good. Look how Vanessa's standing. <laughs> you can also shop, watch online at uh, evine.com. Thanks to our friends at Evine. We love our family over there. And don't miss Vanessa on Daytime Divas tonight and June 5th, but rather on VH1. Vanessa Williams, Bye. everybody. Thank you. Come back. Stay with us, everybody. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Yeah. May 25th. Let's see how Robert scored Rachel. Love Connection is back on Fox. Was there a kiss? It was amazing. From the creator of The Bachelor. When I saw him, I'm like, great, Urkel, but white. Love Connection. Series premiere May 25th on Fox 9. Hi, I'm Tina with Maury's Brooklyn Park Subaru. My life is full. Full-time job, full-time family, and full-time events. What I like best about my Subaru... I guess we gotta do it. Come on, drop it! Johnson Hanks 2020. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks made a surprise appearance on SNL over the weekend to help help the rock out with his monologue. It wrapped up a hugely successful season of SNL thanks in part to real life presidential politics. The rock did a yeah, <laughs> the rock did a We don't do that here. Uh, the rock did a good job, and you can uh, go check out more of the bits if you're interested. Uh, there's uh, on Hulu, you can look at them. But there is one more thing we have to talk about. What the heck is going on with Katy Perry? Now, we saw it, we've released two, okay, yeah, that's, okay. That was one of her performances. I'll be doing that at the end of the show, right? <laughs> that was, that was one of them, look. I love that kid. I think he should just get him as a co-host. Anyway, by the way, this just broke. Listen to this. Uh, we don't need to start a GoFundMe page for Katy Perry because TMZ just reported she scored a $25 million contract for Idol, for American Idol. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Well, I told you at the beginning of the show I'm operating on about three hours of sleep. That's because, and I'm not kidding, yeah. I'll be quacking like a duck by the end of this, but that's because 
That's because I got home uh, from the airport last night and I started watching the all new Twin Peaks. Now it's on Showtime. I, it is the number one trending entertainment item uh, on Facebook and EW. If you haven't seen the originals, you know, here's what you need to know. I can't explain it to you. <laughs> I was gonna try, but we would be here for a very long time if I tried to decipher Twin Peaks for you. I will say this, because you know how I feel. I don't believe in ruining TV shows for people, so I won't divulge anything. But if you liked, if you liked David Lynch, you will like this. If you liked the original show, I, I think there's enough uh, for you to come back for this third season. For newcomers, because I know there are a lot of you that are like, oh, should I watch this? It is hard to get, uh, to get on the bandwagon, because there's so many characters, new and old, thrown at you. You don't really know what's going on. Uh, there's like an upside down place called the Black Lodge where people talk backwards. There's a giant. There's a little person. There's a tree with a heart on it. I mean, it's, and there's a box, there's a glass box where people come out of it. It is nutter butters. But I must admit, I really, really liked it. It's 18 episodes. Uh, all, four are available on Showtime streaming right now on the app. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And when we're done with the 18, I'll give you my review of uh, if the third season was worth a 27-year wait. Yeah. It's very confusing. Very confusing. Let me And scary. I'm not kidding. When I said the top of the show, I got done watching last night, and I had trouble falling asleep because I thought either Laura Palmer or the backward-talking little person was going to hop on my bed. I'm not kidding. Still to come, everybody, it's the new dining trend. Uh, you heard uh, your friends buzzing about. Chef Daniel Green is here, and we're cooking with cauliflower. From pancakes to pizza, you don't want to miss this when we come back. Stay with us, everybody. Back after this. When we're tracking storms live on Fox 9, we're also tracking them live with streaming video on the app. So on your tablet, on your phone, you can watch our live coverage wherever you are. Transform your home today and save big during the Champion Spring Makeover Sale. Save 25% and expand the livable space of your home with a gorgeous Champion sunroom. Or transform the entire facade of your home with new Champion siding. Just call 888-935-CHAMPION. Thank you for having me, Jason. Okay, now you're a, you're an expert. You're you're a great chef, but your your speciality is healthy eating. Yes. So, what is the benefit? What's the true benefit? of using cauliflower and all this stuff? Uh, well, you know, I've always followed trends when you know, I follow healthy eating. I've written books from everywhere when it was all about low fat, but then it became all about low carb. Um, having carbs, I find quite dangerous because once I start with the bread and the potatoes, I don't it's stop. It's done. Yeah. So cauliflower is a brilliant way to bring the carbs down and come up with some great ways to cook it. So this is a breakfast I make all the time. Okay. Now I've actually This is a breakfast item a of breakfast. cauliflower. I've actually microwaved this bag, about half the bag. Okay. I microwaved it so it's actually cooked and I've got a nice high heat here okay. on a non-stick pan and I'm going to make a little pancake and I put a bit of egg, that's it, just a bit of egg. A cauliflower it, pancake. It, it's amazing. It comes out really good. You know, a lot of people think they're always compromising when they're healthy. I don't think so on this dish. I think it's a brilliant breakfast. What we're going to do is we're going to fry this. Okay. We are going to turn it up a bit. Okay. I've got some salmon and some avocado. So you've got some good fats there that will fill you up, all protein, some fat free sour cream, and then we're going to make a brilliant breakfast. Now, it might not be the easiest to make every day when we think about just pouring in some cereal to a bowl, but if you try this on the weekends, you'll love it. I bet you make it more often than that. Yeah, I can see little, little Timmy looking at this going, why is that bumpy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is that pancake bumpy? Okay. Well, um... But I, you know what smells? I gotta tell you, it, it smells good. You know, and you'll see the color. It actually does come out really well. So this is such a big trend at the moment, so you're actually buying it rice. Now, about a year ago, two years ago, you had to do it yourself. Yeah. It's like too much trouble. And most stores now, you're right. I see it now everywhere. Everywhere. It's I mean, not just the brand name. You can go to anywhere from the specialty whole, uh, grocery stores to like the lowest of lowest uh, grocery stores that will have it. So, you know, kind of the budget ones too. So look at this. You ready? Yeah. Give it a little bit of a turn. Okay. Look at that color. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah. Not so bad. No, 
<laughs> Maybe little Timmy would eat that. I mean, yeah. Um, in a minute, I'm just going to top it up again with a kind of layer it up, and then I put an egg on it. So a little bit of a either a poached egg or a fried egg, okay. and then you cut into it. It's a really beautiful breakfast. You know what? You are, you have me on this. I could do that. It's really not bad. Um, then we made a pizza as well. Okay. Now I will tell you, I tried doing this. I have twice now in my home, and I never make it right. It, 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 so. Tell me how to do this with a pizza. Well, what you do need in here is some cheese to bind it. So I microwaved it the same way. Okay. Then I put in some cheese. Okay. Then I put it on a pan ready to go under the grill. I put it under the grill for about three, four minutes. Then I put on the pizza topping. Then I put on some olives and a little bit more cheese. Now that has got fat, but it's almost carb free. Now, unfortunately it's cold. Yeah, yeah. I there is a reason for that. <laughs> there is a reason. There's a reason why? You don't have an oven. Oh, we don't have an oven. <laughs> So, Jason, when you have an oven, I, I will I come like, back and I'll... <laughs> I thought Vanessa Williams was back. I was like, what's he going to? I was like, what's Daniel point to? Is there a surprise guest back here? Yeah, no, when, okay. when, when you have the oven, I yeah. will come back and I'll cook it properly. <laughs> Let me tell you, you will be waiting a long time. OK, another secret? Yeah. You don't even have a microwave. I did this at home. Do we don't? <laughs> oh, we do. We do back there. You know where all that was? It's where the audience is right now. Oh. <laughs> so got... No one told yeah. me. Yeah, OK. We like the people better than the microwave. Are you, ready? Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for this. OK. Oh. So you break that open. OK, Dan, I got to tell you. That is really pretty. Yeah. May I, may I, may uh, I absolutely. try a little bit yeah, of that? Please okay. do. Because I am a little picky, so we'll see. But this really does look good. Let me just get this part. The pancake really is good. It's really good. It is good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I apologize. I'm sorry. I sounded like Mikey. You know, like <laughs> he likes it. He really likes it. Yeah. What are before we go? Yeah. I know what I did. What are common mistakes people do when using cauliflower? I think I know one of them. Okay, well, I would say the one thing is they don't cook it through properly, yeah. and then it comes out crunchy and not nice. So you want to make sure you do microwave it, so it doesn't matter how long it goes in the pan, it's already cooked anyway. But, you know, again, people always think they're going to compromise when they're being healthy. I always want to come up with innovative ideas, how you can have really good food, tasty food. And, yes, you're going to make a few tweaks. If you have pizza once a week and you don't have any weight issues, have the pizza once a week. But for most of us... We're conscious, yeah. and there's a good way to have it more often. Exactly. I also heard that uh, in some recipes, not drying it off can be a, uh, for some recipes, you have to uh, put paper towel to get the moisture out I to didn't, help bind. You I didn't, didn't know that? I didn't know that one. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even have to look behind me for that. One. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Chef Daniel oh, Green, everybody. Thank you. We're going to post this. Thank you, Martin. We're going to post. We're going to post this whole segment on our Facebook page. Just search Jason Show TV. Like us, will you? And for more information on Daniel, go to televisioncookery.com, right there at the bottom of your screen. After the break, everybody, it's game time. We'll be right back. After this. That really is good. I really do like that. Oh, no. I think the combo of the flavor is what makes that. Next, Harry, is Man Crush Monday with Mila, Nico, Josh and Shamar. Today at 1 on Fox 9. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. Paul's Market has it all. Paul's Market in Apple Valley has three acres of indoor growing space. Over one million plants, trees, and shrubs. Now at their peak, ready for you. There is something for every season at Paul's Market. We were so happy when we got there. They took over. They knew exactly what to do. It's a pyramid. Here's how it works. I'm going to give you clues. Uh, I'll give two players clues. The person with the most correct answers wins. Playing today to my left, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Tori, everybody. Yay! Hi, Tori. Hello. Where are you from, Tori? Downtown Minneapolis. Downtown. Oh, I live there too. Yeah. Hey, yes. hey, girl. Hey, I can see y'all cocktailing. Yes. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it going for Elise, everybody. Hi, Elise. Where are you from? Uh, South Minneapolis. South Minneapolis. I'll see you cocktailing too. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, Tori, uh, you are contestant one, so I'll be working with you first. Okay. You just sit there. Where you not don't sit. You okay, stand okay. there and relax. Okay. All the heavy liftings on me. We're gonna put 30 seconds on the clock in honor of Celine Dion's return last night. The category: 90s, 
female music stars, okay? Okay, oh gosh, okay. Well, the audience is booing that, I don't know. Uh, okay, anyway, here we go, Director Leo, 30 seconds on the clock, and begin. Oh, baby, baby. Britney Spears. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. What have you done for me lately? Uh, Janet Jackson. That's right, okay. yeah. Jeannie in a bottle. Uh, Christina Aguilera. I will oh. Whitney Houston. Thank you. Uh, Fantasy, always be my baby. Mariah Carey. Yes. Um, oh, uh, she. Uh, oh, she's on the Shades of Blue. She was an Idol judge. Uh, Paula Abdul. No other uh, one. She's, um, she was a Fly Girl originally. Uh, oh. She's super beautiful. Jennifer Shades Lopez. Of, yes. And finally, oh, time's up. Oh. Okay. Gwen <laughs> Stefani. Oh, okay, okay. I shouldn't have sang. Anyway, here we go, Elise. <laughs> Round two, 90s male music stars. Okay, let me look at all these. Oh, my goodness. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock, Director Leo, and here we go. Living la vida loca. Pass. I was born in 97. Tori wins the game, everybody. There we go. <laughs> 1981. Okay. Le Leo, 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 Director Leo, put the clock back up. You were born in 97. I was born in 97. Late 97. Late. Oh, why did you have to add late 97? Oh, God. Okay, here we go. We're going to try one more time, okay? Ready? Director Leo, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Okay, a Latin superstar, Shaker Bon Bon. He, he came out. Ricky Martin. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Minnesotan, little red Corvette. He just passed away. Prince. Yes. Don't help her. Uh, 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 I want it that. Justin Timberlake. No. no. Oh, I don't know. Okay, wrong. Other, other band, other I band. Know. Not girls, but. Boys. And I'm Boys gonna. Boys will be men? No, I don't know. I don't know. I love you so much. Uh, time's up. You are my favorite contestant ever. Do you know any of these people? Mark Wahlberg? Oh my God, oh my God. Okay. Do you, you don't know who Mark, do you know who MC Hammer is? Yeah. That was the 80s. You the 80s. know, you don't know Ricky Martin, but you know MC Hammer? Yeah. He was 10 years before him. Oh, that's right, yeah. She just said he's a meme. That's how she knows. Oh I love you. God. You're my favorite. Okay. Okay, Tori, back over okay, to you. Okay, okay, okay. What are we doing? Things at a Memorial Day, things, we're not doing another? Are we done? We're done. Okay. <laughs> Elise, <laughs> you know what? You both win a prize today, I'm telling you. You get a mug. Thank you. And I'll give you the one that Vanessa Williams drank out of. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I got the better prize. You know who Vanessa Williams is, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Tomorrow, check out a food you may have missed in the Midtown Global Market. We're doing a tour. Plus, you love her. We're dialing up my mom, the Dar, on tomorrow's Aww. show. That's right. Oh, my goodness. I want to say a big thank you to Vanessa Williams' audience. Wasn't she great? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it came through. She was just as sweet. And thanks to our friends at Evine. Thanks to one of the best audiences we've ever had. Thanks to you watching. Go out there and be yourself. Because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. See you tomorrow, everybody. Have a good day. Oh, my God. You were fantastic. <laughs> And to say it like you mean it, you see on TV, is authentically me. When the double doors open, it's on. Next at 11 on Fox 9. Ready for a getaway? Need a few days off with the family? Reserve your getaway booking bonus at Edgewater Hotel and Water Park. $89 deals start Sunday through Thursday, June to July 31st. Use promo code TC17. DuluthWaterPark.com. What's with him? He's happy. Your family's finally eating vegetables.